2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And the playoff intensity can be felt as the starting lineups conclude. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back momentarily with the NBA playoffs. It's game three of the Western Conference quarterfinals, all tied at 1 1. If the first two games mean anything, it should be in for a heck of a series. Kevin Harlan here along with analysts Greg Anthony and Steve Smith, and we'll be hearing from DA along the sideline all game long. Here are the five for the Clippers. George and Leonard are the forwards. Powell is out there with Harden, and it's Plumley in at the five spot. And for the Mavericks, the star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Washington out there with Exum, and it's Gafford in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Look at the Mavericks. Well, they stole one on the road, and that was their goal. Now they have a chance to take command of the series, Greg. But it's going to be difficult, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, they still got a lot to prove, Kevin, coming into this series as an underdog. But I've been impressed with their fighting execution. You, you can tell they're not intimidated. We'll see if they can maintain that level of confidence tonight. Yeah, that'll be key. You're right. George finds Bumley. Now here's Paul. Here's George. Count it. Aggressive oh, move by Paul George in the paint. He wanted that one bad. Here's Doncic. Harden with the defensive effort. And it's Harden with the ball for Los Angeles. Powell against Irving. That one goes in. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help? Defensively. No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. And just about a minute into the first quarter. And the foul called on P.J. Washington. That's his first foul. Yeah, quick foul to pick up right away here in the first quarter. George looking around. Tipped away. Stolen by Exum. Dallas again turning it over. Here's Harden, and the Clippers getting another bucket right there. Oh, the rare catch and shoot from Harden, showing it's still in his bag. Here's Irving. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Yeah, going hard to the rack, making a statement here early on. Well, this is his game. Be proactive offensively, put the defense back on his heels. You see the game plan is working already. Four straight makes to start this. Doncic finds Irving. For the three, sinks the triple. Irving's got five. He had his eye on that one. Kyrie finding the space he needs outside the arc. Pass to Leonard. Now the dish to Powell. Puts it up. And it's Leonard. That time on the assist by Powell. Leonard's got his second best. Impressive start here. That's five straight makes to start the game. That bucket in in no time at all. And we know Doncic has limitless range, but for him, it's about becoming more consistent from deep. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Dallas has gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Jacks up a three. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. I mean, beautiful execution of the game plan offensively. So far, they are hitting 80% from the field. And Butler kicks to Harden. Shot clock at five. Softly drops in the floater. They are on fire, just in a great move here early on. 
Doncic passes to X. Poked away. Paul George with the steal. First quarter play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. And it's slammed in by Plumley. Oh, nice work finding the open man by George. Plays like this prove he's a team player. A nice shot by Exum. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Now Harden. And it's good off the back rim and in. Harden's got six points. And Harden proving why he's an elite ball handler. Absolutely cutting the beat of pieces with his move. Andrews outside. And that comes off the assist by Exum. He's got nine. And it's Leonard with the ball. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. They're coming to this game after losing on Saturday. And look at what they did in the fourth quarter. Just totally out of sync and, and lacking in intensity. And that turned into that huge comeback. Doncic way outside. Can't drop the tough three-pointer. The Clippers in the lead. Harden outside. Puts up a three. Drops in the train. In case anyone was wondering, this is what it looks like when you're in the zone. He hasn't missed one all quarter. This is it to Gaffer. Now, here's Exum, defended by George. Ranjic outside, six on the shot clock. There's the pass to Washington. Puts up a deep three. Plumley with the rebound. And this is what you like about his perimeter D. Never gave up and challenged the D. You see some guys, they just mail it in. They don't go out and contest it. Not him. He's going to compete through the entire play. Let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for the Clippers. So far for me, they found a lot of good shots in the bit range. They've been fearless attacking with the jump shot. And also, guys, they're out muscling their opponent. The points in the paint are piling up because of that aggressiveness. You know, when you have a guy like Kawhi Leonard, so much of what you do goes through him. You trust him. You trust his abilities. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. You look for them to come out much more aggressive. Trail by eight. Anjic passes to Lively. Leonard with the steal. Jumps up. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. You see, that is just rude. Kawhi picks it, triggers the fast break. See ya. To the middle. Here's Lively. And the rejection by Zubats. And here we go with Westbrook running it up the court. Yep, left one goes. And you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. This is my type of approach. Get some high percentage looks. Then later, you can play inside out. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the sides. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. The Mavericks shooting their first free throw of the game right now. Josh Green checked in for the Mavericks. Mans checked in for the Clippers. One shot. That free throw good from Hardaway. Los Angeles leading by nine. 
pass to Zubac. Good for the basket. He Starting off Zubac. one for one with that shot. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Jones, the pass to Doncic. Back to Jones. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Clippers moving the ball around. They get the rebound. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. And Green gets it to go. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Short. Nice contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. And he's got his first chance at the line here. At the line for one. one of the most talented two-way players of this generation. Paul George has stayed humble throughout his success and has shown that he is willing to do whatever it takes to win. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. And it's nine points for Paul George. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Outside Hardaway. Connects from three-point range. Hardaway has got six. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Westbrook feeling it out a bit. In the corner, George with it. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. He lobs it up. And I don't care what his size is. You cannot forget to box him out. He's just got a nose for the ball, and he is fearless in attacking the glass. So for the Clippers, Daniel Tice comes in for Leonard. And Bones Island subbed in for Paul George. So it's the Mavericks now. 11-point game. Dallas calls timeout. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Here's Doncic. Nine points in the game so far. Ball's not loose. Pull from the top of the key. Chalk up two there. Doncic has got it back down to within single digits for Dallas. Taking things into his own hands this quarter. Trying to keep his team afloat. The Clippers again turning it over. Misread each other on the pass. Tried to recover, but too late. Mavericks with possession here. Green up on top. Zubac defending, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Made an attack there and then create the contact. The Mavericks have made their only other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. 
Shooting two. And that one misses. Los Angeles making a switch here. Lumley's checked in. He doesn't get the second one. Clippers leading by nine. Outside Westbrook from downtown. Rebounded by Hardaway. Now the Mavericks with it. To the inside. And Jones skins it home. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Bumley attacking a shot, no good. Feeds to Green. And that comes off the assist by Joe. Green's got his second button. And can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. And the basket is good. And the Clippers lead by seven. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Hardaway passes to Lively. He's it up and he off a pretty assist. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye open. Here's Mann, ready by Green. Mann gets the bucket. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. Yeah, both teams in the zone early. Stops have been almost impossible to come by. Here's Jones, takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. Jones has got six. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and continue to score consistently. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Six to shoot. Man, again, Los Angeles. 17 seconds left in the first quarter. Inside. And he lays in the alley -oop. Excellent addition to Rod. Luca with the nice feed. Luca Dodgers. Westbrook passes to Highland. And the three off target. Paul George, he's been the guy making things happen for L.A. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And we're back with you, all set to bring you more action from Game 3. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Clippers, guys. I love their effort, contesting shots, trying to intimidate here early on. And you can see it's already having an impact. It can cause shooters to think twice. And it's Harden with the ball for the Clippers. They've led by as many as 14 points. They've got Daniel Gafford. Exum is out there with Derek Jones. Then there's Hardaway, and it's Irving at the point guard position. It's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. And the rejection by Zubots. Great awareness on defense there. Zubox relishes blocking shots. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. It's blocked, and they'll keep possession. Here's Exum. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. A tremendous threat off the dribble. Dante trying to become consistent in the catch-and-shoot game. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Mavericks making a switch here. Washington's checked in. And a switch here also for the Clippers. Leonard's checked in. One shot. in the lead. Pass to Zubats. Now Highland. Teardrop shot. Yes, that goes in. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Outside Hardaway. And he hits it to tie the game up. Hardaway has got 11 points. 
On time, on target. Kyrie orchestrated things beautifully. Harden against Hardaway. And the basket by Harden. Harden. 11 points in the game. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on James Harden. Kyrie has the total package. He can drive it right, left, step back, and hit a jumper. Hard for any defender to contest his shot without fouling. Two shots. The first one falls. Watching Kyrie Irving, you can just see how special he is. His moves, how light on his feet he is. It's really a thing of beauty. And he makes both free throws. Money from the strike. He does a great job night in and night out. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. That's a jump ball. the Mavericks with possession here. Dallas has gone 7 of 11 from deep tonight using the free corner to their advantage. Passes it to Exxon. Outside Irving. Shot clock at 6. And there's the pass to Washington. From deep. Yes! And it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got three assists now in this one. And it just seems that every pass they made is leading just great ball movement. Here's Dallas. They're on a 12 to 4 run. And Hardaway gets it to go. We see his playmaking ability each year. It's been growing and growing. Beautiful play by Kyrie. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. at the power. Makes it off the glass. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. Mr. Gaffer. Exum with it. Outside Irving. Just five to shoot. Puts up a deep three. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Clippers trail by three. Powell, the pass to Zubats. To the paint, George. Yes, once again, it remains perfect. Six attempts and six hits. This is what they want from Paul George. Non-stop offensive energy. And here's Irving. He's got seven. And it's Exum in the corner. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Exum's got seven points here in this fourth. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five mates are from beyond the arc. George passes to Zubats. And the rejection by Gafford. Here's Irving. And another basket for Dallas. 
A consistent threat offensively, even in the mid-range. Kyrie is so confident. And plenty of contact on the shot, so two free throws coming up. And, and I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Shooting for the Clippers. And a moment out to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Mavericks. Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. And it seems they've also put an emphasis on moving the ball, working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks. You know, every team is looking for guys like Norman Powell, an explosive athlete who is relentless, and he can shoot the ball. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Mavericks leading by four. Action with it. Here's Gafford. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. On the way against Powell. And it's good for two. Powell's got six in the quarter. Keeping his balance on the difficult take. Norman Powell is gifted at finishing through physical contact. And that one's good, Irving. Yeah, he's in such a great rhythm right now. Makes sense to get him the ball any way you can. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. Los Angeles calls timeout. Well, it's a player's lead, but certainly coaching has its place. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. They trail by six. A bruising bucket down low. Kawhi's not going to flinch because of a little contact. Here's Exum. Plays it up off the glass. Exum's got nine points now in the quarter. Yeah, not a perfectly set screen here, but got him just enough room to get that shot off. Great floor awareness. Kyle knows how to find his open teammates. And Green gets it to go. Green's got the lead up to six now for Dallas. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. He's been locked in all night, and he's shot. Passes it to Gaffin. Now, Washington. The pass to Exum. Five on the clock. They get a hand on it. Leonard with the steal. Here's George. It's good for his eighth consecutive basket in only eight tries. Wow. What a silky move by Paul George. He really had the ball on a string. That's tipped. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. Jump ball call. So here are the Clippers, and that one's good. Green, given the size disadvantage, you have to have a lot of confidence to take that shot. Also, a lot of skill. This is exactly the type of thing you practice for over and over again. Pocket six. George, way outside. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Dallas leading by three from about 16, and he knocks down the jumper. Irving's got eight here in the quarter. Can hit it outside, inside, and there you see Kyrie with the pull-up. 
Los Angeles Started. calls timeout. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time that just let them get their legs back under them. here for the Clippers. Mason Plumley's checked in for Zubox. Daniel Tice comes in for Leonard. Mann's checked in for Powell. And Russell is up in. James Harden. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. This speaks to Westbrook's high level of awareness. Understands when one of his guys is wide open. And he's got his first chance at the line here. At the line for one. Dallas has gotten out from three point land in the second quarter, going four of five from downtown. Here's Irving on the Mavericks, getting another bucket right there. Defensively, someone has to stay with Kyrie on the pick and roll. He's too good of a score. It's Westbrook with the drive. Plays it up and picks it in. Westbrook's got his second bucket of the night. And this guy is a scoring machine. I mean, I know I'm not the only one to describe him that way. Jones, the pass to Lively. Outside Irvin. Another three for Dallas. Completely on his game. Hasn't missed a shot all night. A big part of why this team is winning. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Three points. Westbrook's got seven. And they are absolutely stroking it from beyond the arc. Green inside. Defended by George. And that one's good. Green. How about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Westbrook against Dungeon. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Look at the focus. When Russell Westbrook zeroes in, he's next level. It's his first trip to the line. That free throw, no good. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach. Driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Los Angeles making a switch here. Islands checked in. And he's good on the second. You know, intensity is what makes Russell Westbrook so special. He's relentless, and it's difficult for even great players to keep up with him. A nice shot by Dodger. You just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, his offense is there. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. And Doncic gets it to go. And got to be more than that to stop Doncic. He's just too good at absorbing the contact. And now the fast break. Irving with the ball. Goes up the baseline. And it's Dallas with another. And I love the tenacity, guys. He simply can will his way into games at times and exert his presence. Pass to Tice. To the middle. Cuts off the pass. Here's Jones. Got a piece of it. 
outside Westbrook. Bucket is good. Russell Westbrook's got eight here in the quarter. Pure athleticism from Russell Westbrook. In the face of good defense, he still gets it to fall. Irving passes to Lively. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got his sixth assist on the night. Island against Irving. Good D by Irving. Dallas leading by eight. 24 seconds left here in the second. They kick it out to Green. Another three for Dallas. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Outside Westbrook. Shoots over Doncic. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. If you're the defense, you have to live with these results. Westbrook is capable of connecting when under pressure. And so it's Dallas in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside and it's working for them. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Coach Jason Kidd. Jason, how do you feel about your team's performance? I feel great. You know, we're sharing the ball, we're making the extra pass, but we're attacking the pain. And if we can continue to do that, it puts us in a good seat. Jason, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, y'all. We're reporting to you live here in the sold-out arena. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. And guys, for the Mavericks, this could be the pivotal game in this series, and they're playing like it. They may not be running away with it just yet, but you could just sense in the first half how focused they are on grabbing that two games to one lead. Shaq, what's your take on Dallas? The way they're shooting it from deep, they're going to be hard to beat. The team has a lot of confidence let's apply without hesitation. Defensively, you have to force them off their spots, make them put the ball on the floor. And Kenny, let's get your thoughts on the Clippers. Well, it's never fun. When you're playing against the team, that's on fire. This team was on fire. They showed effort on defense, but it didn't matter. They couldn't get the stops. I don't think the opponent could sustain this kind of shoot. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. Doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. You look at Kyrie Irving in this game, he has been everywhere. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. This is his challenge to continue to dominate, to help them try to close strong here in the second half. NBA playoffs round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. Taking a look at Los Angeles. George and Leonard are the forwards. Harden out there with Powell. And it's Plumley in at the five. Down low. The three-point numbers for Kawhi Leonard, they show this man is elite from deep. And here's Doncic from the arc. Good on the three-point shot. Doncic has got 19 points. Guys, he's been a one-man air raid. Yeah, the defense has allowed him to get into a rhythm from there. And he's been relentless. Stu Leonard, five to shoot. And for Washington, that's it. And the Dallas lead is cut to just seven on the basket from Kawhi Leonard. Having Leonard dictate the offense is a winning formula. He can score from anywhere on the court. On your job side. Outside Irving. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got his third assist on the night. So many things Kyrie gives you, including the ability to score no matter who he's up against. Back to Harden. Shoots over Doncic. They get it back. 
a slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. The size of Exum really causes a lot of problems for the defense. Not an easy cover at all. And this will be his second and third shot to the line here. That free throw, no good. Good on the second free throw. Clippers trail by 10. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Here's Leonard again, Los Angeles. From mid-range, Kawhi's touch is just fantastic. Donchich outside. From 11 feet away, and he hits the jumper for two. Exum's got 14. Terrific game plan coming out of halftime. A perfect three for three from the field. Wow, four or five to start the half. Coming out on fire. Irving kicks to Washington. Back to Irving. Oh, good on the three. Yeah, but they're three or four to start the second half. The baseline jam. And it's George missing. A good board there, Kevin. But overall, they're getting slightly out-rebound. And it's Dallas with another. This is what makes Kyrie an elite player. His ability to just take over games. Here's George. And the rejection by Gaffer. Exum deciding where to go with it. Knocked away. Down low. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to be a Mason Plummer. Yeah, easy call. The Mavericks have shot five of eight from the foul line. And that one falls for Gafford. Hardaway's checked in for the Mavericks. And a switch here also for the Clippers. Zubats is checked in. Gafford cans them both. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Kicks it out to Harden. Back to Leonard. But three. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Three. Harden's got four assists now tonight. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Dallas calls timeout. Doncic. Oh, an easy two from Doncic. Watch Doncic gets inside with the ball. He's halfway there. Then he just uses his strength to finish the job. 
Passes it to Pop. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. The three for Doncic. And that comes off the assist by Exum. Doncic has got the lead up to 14 now for the man. Doncic against Harden. This is the winner. Powell down low. Just four to shoot. Here's Zubac. And the dunk by Zubac. That's what stokes Zubac. Every possession he saves, he gets more fired up. Now, here's Doncic. He's got 24. He logs up the alley pass. And Gafford throws it down. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Harden bounce pass. 14 feet away. And with that, the Maverick lead is cut down now to just 12 on the basket from Powell. And this team's struggles are not his fault. He's putting in work at the offensive end. A nice shot by Doncic. A nice touch on Luka's mid-range there. The product of a lot of practice time and natural talent. Here's Harden, and oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's on Luka Doncic. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the men. Smart ball handling from them in this one. Take a break. Passing around to get ahead of the defense and putting it in the hands of ready shooters. And on top of that, they've really been dialed in from deep, just dropping triple after triple. And team-wide, they've been terrific from the line here. Just one of those nights when the confidence has spread from one player to the next. Here's what the Clippers are going with right now. Daniel Tice is checked in for Kawhi Leonard. Mann comes in for George. And Russell Westbrook subbed in for Norman Powell. He hits both from the strike. And how many times have we seen Harden at the free throw line in his career? I mean, the man lives to put pressure on the defense. Jones for three. The shot's good on the assist by Doncic. Doncic has got five assists in the game. Harden the pass to Tice. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Well, you like how aggressive he is making a play at the rim against the win. And let's forget the height disadvantage. He brings the effort and he brings the energy. No one near Doncic as he lets it fly. Another three for Dallas. Well, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Los Angeles calls timeout. You have to like what you're seeing from Luka Doncic. I mean, the ridiculous production from beyond the arc. They have to find a way to cool him down. defense the Mavericks. 16 point lead, the largest margin in the game. He is really shouldering the load on the offensive end and doing an outstanding job, but he needs the rest of his team to step up. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds to the Mavericks as Dallas retains possession. Doncic against Westbrook. Doncic kicks to Hardaway. Down to five on the shot clock. And the basket by Jones. Well, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. 
Man passes to Tice, and it's blocked. Jones dishes to Doncic. Back to Jones. And it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. And one of the top scorers in the game, Harden has an innate gift for creating his shot. Hardaway against Zubac. And Hardaway gets it to go. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. The reason why, it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. A three-pointer is Game right point. on target. Harden's got seven points that here in this sport. Oh, in the D, you got to get out on that, or Harden will make you pay. Dallas calls timeout. Change here. Washington's checked in. Bones Island is checked in for Los Angeles. Mavericks leading by 16. Now Green. He's got 13. Cloak loose. And now the Clippers on the break. Let's it go from 11 again. Los Angeles. I love when Westbrook shoots it from that distance. Doncic looking it over. And he uses the glass on the lane. Doncic has got 15 points in just the second half. They have laid on him all quarter, and it has worked to perfection. Outside Westbrook. With the drive, it's good again. And the next one, seven for eight shooting night so far. Woo! On the drive, Westbrook turns on the Jets and flies past the defenders. Two minutes remaining. Here's man. Six Two for six. Minutes. He's yet to miss from the field. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half. Getting away from the three-point shot. The pass to Lively. And it's blocked. To the inside. Well placed. Alley pass into the layup. Yeah, this offense is rolling. They've been assertive but they're also playing under control. And it has them in a great spot to take the lead. They love to get a few stops now at the other end. Six on the shot clock, three. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And you gotta respect Luka's passing skills. Uh, just a multi-talented player who is all about sharing the basketball. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Kyrie Irving's checked in for Luka Doncic. The Clippers also changing it up. Plumley comes in for Daniel Jice. And it's George in for Highland. Free throw drops for Green. And done a much better job from the line this half. They've gotten that percentage up over 80 for the game. Here's Westbrook. Good once again. That makes it 8 for 9 this game. Easy to get distracted by contact, but Westbrook stays laser focused. Green passes to Lively. And good that time. Lively's got 6. He goes to the bounce pass there. Nice rhythm at the end of the play. And 
foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Second personal foul. The Clippers have knocked down eight of nine free throw attempts. You can see those numbers read pretty well. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. Russell Westbrook drops them both. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Irving drives in. Now for two. Irving's got six in the quarter. A strong finisher. Kyrie exhibits good body control after contact. George passes to Zubats. And now it's Green running. He can go all the way. And it's Green with the jam. If any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed. And that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor. Got to the rim and made a play. Paul Playing George. from behind right here. Not easy. But he is answering the bell. The reason why is not just scoring. It's the way he's doing it. Efficient. That's what you need at this point in the game. And so it's Dallas. 13 points up at the end of the period. They've had such great ball movement and shot selection, and it's led to a terrific field goal percentage. Back right after this. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. They've got Exum. Irving is out there with Green. Then there's Daniel Gaffer. And it's Lively in at the four spot. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Gafford misses. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for L.A. And that one's good. Leonard. His tremendous hands are part of what makes Kawhi effective inside. That's why they call him the Claw. Gafford passes to Lively. Outside Irving. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Puts up a deep three. Rebound Kawhi Leonard. And you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. The ability to close out on perimeter shooters is so important in today's game. At the line for the Clippers, Paul George taking two shots. Shooting two. And the first one drops. Ugodonjic, he's checked in for Dallas. And a switch here also for the Clippers. James Harden, he's checked in for Russell Westbrook. And both free throws, good for Paul George. Mavericks leading by nine. Irving passes to Gaff. Here's Doncic. Fires the three. Dallas again missing. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. So it'll be James Harden shooting. It's on Luka Doncic. Shooting for the Clippers. James Harden. One shot. Stop. 
for Dallas. They've gone over through to start the fourth quarter. Anjic passes to Geft. Now here's Exum. And he makes good on the way. And the Mavericks lead by eight. Gorgeous handles from Dante. Terrifying defenses when he works his magic with the ball. That's to George. Five on the clock. The Clippers need to get off a shot. Oh, that's good. And when you thought this fourth quarter was simply a formality, all of a sudden the offense picks up, and now we have a game. Astro Exum takes the three. Count that as his seventh field goal, nine tries. He's shooting 78%. Matching baskets from the perimeter and the earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. To the middle, and Gafford throws it down. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. One made three for him for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Moving against Harden. Ivory. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got his eighth assist in the game. Harden kicks the plumber. Back to Harden. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And it's easy to give up after a play like that. But this team needs to keep fighting. It's just one trip down the court. But you have to have short memory in this league or you won't last long. Here's Doncic. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's on Kawhi Leonard. What determination from Doncic pushing his shot through despite some stiff defense to draw the foul. And he makes the first. And right now, at about 85% from the line, that's up from where it was in that first half. All free throws good from Doncic. Yeah, and their free throw shooting has really improved here in the second half. Harden against Doncic. And there it is for him. James Harden. Harden's got 25 points. And for Harden, finishing through contact is just part of the job description. He gets bodied up almost every time he takes it inside. Back to Gafford. And Gafford throws it down. And although an undersized center, more than making up for it with some serious hops. Now the feed to Powell. And the dunk by Powell. On offense, Norman Powell is looking unstoppable. You love to see him find his groove like this. Here's Gafford. And on the way from Irving for three, another three for Dallas. Yeah, that's a great shot. Third three of the game for him, first in this half. And here's Plumlee. with it over Irvin. again the Clippers I'll tell you Norman Powell fills in the gaps for this team at both ends Irving finds Gafford Powell against Irving here he goes and he makes the bucket gets the whistle and now a three-point play chance here for him these are big buckets. He's been instrumental in helping them try to close out this game. Second personal, second team foul. Now at the line for your Mavericks, Kyrie Irving. The free throw off from Irving. Clippers trail by 15. And the jam by Hart. All the way up. The beard. Well, those were two loud points. Anjic outside. 
Back to Exum. Floats one. The shot's good on the assist by Doncic. Doncic has got his seventh assist here tonight. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. From deep, George. That one finds the mark. It's the tenth time he's done that tonight on 14 shots. It's enough to where you have to respect him. Had one triple in the first half. Now has his second. Exum passes to Lively. Yep, that one goes in there. Lively's got four points now in the quarter. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Back to Harden. From past the arc. Kept alive. And with that, the Maverick lead is cut down to just 12 points with the basket from Plumlee. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. The defender has Irving closely covered, but he's just so determined to get through the contact and to the bucket. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. Jump ball. And here is Los Angeles now. Now, here's Doncic. Here's Doncic. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Doncic has got 35. And I love how Doncic reads the floor, varies his pace, and uses every trick of the bag to get where he wants to go. It's good. You know he's pulling his weight, but they still find themselves behind. Harden against Doncic. Passes to Gaffer. Here's Weifel. Now Doncic wants to get it to Gaffer and does. Oh, and just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley. I gotta say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. It's clocked. The pass to X. Swallowing up shots like none other. Leonard Stout on the defensive end. Mavericks making a switch here. Washington's checked in. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Zubats is checked in. Here's George. And it's good. Two points. George has got nine points now in just the second half. Poor interior defense. If you play him soft, he's going to kill you. Washington passes to Exum. Leonard with the steal. And pushing it up. Here's the Clippers. And it's George finishing it off. And this is how you score in transition. And Paul George, you just have to appreciate his hustle. And the Mavericks call time here. And Kevin, he saw his big guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. With a chance to take command in this series, he did everything. That is the kind of killer instinct you need in the playoffs. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, guys. Well, I got a chance to listen in on what Jason Kidd was talking about with his players. 
Now he heaped praise on the defense. He said the pressure's great. I love it. Keep making them make mistakes, guys. It's working. He thinks they're on the right track here. Guys, back to you. All right, thank you, David. Irving against Powell. Irving, good. Irving's got 15 points in just the second half. The nasty handle of Kyrie uses it to get anywhere he wants. And that one's good, George. Not just selling for something along the perimeter. Excellent job. On its way from Irving for two. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Zubats has got his fifth rebound in this one. Wasted no time on that one. Norman Powell's got nine points in the quarter. We see this every night from Norman Powell. Putting on his hard hat and going to work. Throws it up high. Gafford misses. Well, that alley-oop attempt, a case of what could have been, just didn't finish the play. You know, this is something you practice over and over again. I'm surprised they couldn't execute. And Zubac picks up the foul. He beats it. That'll be his third foul so far. Third team foul. And the Mavericks with possession here. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Shot clock at six. A shot by Washington, and he's wide open. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got assist number nine. Wow, what an effort here tonight. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Second power move from PG-13. He's added a lot of muscle to his frame over the years, putting it to good use right there. for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. And he ends up making the second, and that brings them within single digits. No way he is happy with himself right now. He knows he has to knock every shot down at this point in the game. Here's Washington. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And game three will go into record books here. Lots of energy out there tonight and an important win for the map. It was like watching a three-point shooting contest oh, right here. And they just That's didn't, didn't seem to let oh, up. Whether the last several shots went down or not, three after three, it just seemed to pay off for them. And this is a pretty decisive victory. They take the lead in the series two games to one. Yeah, game threes are very important. If they can keep this sort of confidence going into game four, boy, they are going to be tough to beat. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Kyrie Irving. Shouldering the load for them all night offensively. He came in focused, ready to go, and he delivered. He had to foul, and on that occasion, to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. First free throw is good, and that puts them up by five. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. There's the knockout blow. No chance of getting up off the canvas now. And the Clippers call time here. They're trailing by six. Twelve seconds left in the fourth quarter.
Substitution on the court. Here's George. Money! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. No moment is ever too big for Paul George. He remains confident in the clutch. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. The first one drops, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Well, Irving isn't the guy I would want to send to the line. He is very comfortable with that shot. And so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. And the Clippers call time here. They're down by five. Nine seconds left in the game. Guys, what do you think? An uphill climb. They need everything to break their way. They also need to get the best shot you can as quickly as you can, and then immediately five. The three from George buries it from outside. When Paul George is on the court, the that defense has to be aware of him on the perimeter. Dallas calls timeout. They're in front by two. Seven seconds left to play in the final quarter. seconds left in the fourth quarter and they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Team is in the middle. Half the line for Dallas. Dante Exxon. Two shots. It's the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. And he is unable to get the second one. And it's all about the three right here. And they're looking to tie it up, live to play another period. We'll see what they run right here. So it's a narrow victory for the Mavericks, pulling out the W. And they've edged in front in the series after an outstanding performance here in Game 3. Kevin, it sure was. Well, team sweat the first two games of the series. Game 3 means everything. They're going into Game 4 now, riding that high after this win. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Luca, you played well and you got the win. So what made the difference? Yeah, I think we had a uh, we had a great game. You know, we had a I think it was a great game today. You know, we step up uh, together, play good defense, and it was a great win. Thanks for your time, man. Appreciate it. Kevin, back to you. Much appreciated, David. 
Well, that'll do it for now. Glad you could join us for the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time.